Well, good evening. Wonky Astronomer here. Well, I've just been looking at the uh, conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, and uh, they've now disappeared behind the trees. So I thought I might have a look at the moon. Where's the moon? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. So I'll click on the moon, hit the button, telescope slews. Okay, I don't see the moon. Yeah, I don't see it. My telescope alignment is a little bit off. Alright, there's a bit of a glow there. Maybe on, on the right. Oh! I think that was it. <laughs> Went too fast. Okay. Bring the exposure down. It is shimmering a lot. It looks like uh, you're looking at it at the bottom of a pond or something like that. That's just uh, the atmosphere we're looking through. Well, let's try to find some of the Apollo landing sites. If I bring up Sky Safari here, I've got the moon. And if I turn on this feature, surface labels, uh, we can now see where the Apollo landing sites are. All the green labels here are places where various spacecraft have landed. They're quite a lot actually. Apollo, Surveyor, Luna, Hitton. I've never heard of that. Hitton. I think even the most recent uh, Chang'e Chinese spacecraft uh, are listed here. There's Chang'e 3. So anyway, let's find um, Apollo 11 first. It's perhaps one of the easiest to find. This is the Sea of Tranquility. Now, we'll just find the Sea of Tranquility on here. Let me make it a bit brighter. Okay. Well, I actually know where it is because I've looked at this many times. Um, that little crater there just a little bit down and to the right of that crater is where Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed. Uh, let's just have a look at that on the map. I'll zoom in on that area. Yeah, you can see that little crater there. That's, that's this one. It's got sort of a, a round, smooth area around it. And just down and to the right is Apollo 11. So about there. Of course, we can't see the flag or the uh, or the lander. All right, now let's look for Apollo 17, which is pretty much straight down. Yeah, sort of at the bottom of um, the Sea of Tranquility. It's a little bit too bright. Okay. I'll let me bring that up again. Yeah, so this is the Sea of Tranquility here. And at the bottom of it, we've got uh, this crater, Vitruvius. That's that one. And we've got a little, little uh, row of mountains there. That's here. And then just below that, there's a, a little uh, light-colored bit, which is here I think doesn't look exactly the same because of the lighting conditions but uh, yeah I think it's just about there Ooh. <laughs> just about there is where Apollo 17 landed that was uh, Gene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt 1972 they were the last crew to land now Apollo 16 it's up a bit higher. So if we go back up to where Apollo 11, we found Apollo 11 there, up a bit higher. This one's a little harder to find because it's sort of in amongst the craters. 
the early missions they landed in smooth areas and then later they tended to land in more uh, mountainous areas or, or rough areas. Okay, Mare Nectaris is that one. Then you've got this crater, which is that one there. And these two and that one, that looks like a face. Two eyes and a mouth. They are here. There, there and there. And then over here, there's a little, well, there's a, a crater there with a little one on its rim. And that is this one with the little crater on the rim there. And Apollo 16 landed just a little bit down from that, just about there. And that was uh, John Young and Charlie Duke. The only one left to look at is Apollo 15. And for some reason this software doesn't show it <laughs> until you really zoom in. I think it's that one. Yeah, there it is. If you don't zoom in all the way, it doesn't it doesn't show the label. But uh, okay, so that's if we go over here. And I'll make it a bit brighter. So that is let's see if Serenity, that's this one. And then you've got a smooth area here, which joins with another C, which is, what is that? Mare Imbrium, which is mainly in shadow. But this mountainous area here, that's this area. And there's a little curvy bit there, which is that. I, it looks a bit like a backwards question mark. And Apollo 15's landing site is just at the top, just at the top of that curvy bit. So just about there. Looks like it's actually in shadow at the moment, but the sun would be rising in that in that area. So you know, in a couple of hours, this area will be all in sun. And Apollo 15 was Dave Scott and Jim Irwin. Now the other two landing sites, which are Apollo 14 and 12. We can't look at them because they're in shadow. See there's Apollo 12. So it's sort of over here somewhere. 12 and 14 are quite close to each other. And uh, they're both on the dark side so they're in shadow. So they would be they would be over here somewhere. So we can't see that. Well, there you have it. The Apollo landing sites. Well, at least four out of six, which ain't bad. Mm -hmm.